everybody, it's Carrie Ann, your favorite local go-to realtor here in Northeast Florida. And a couple weeks back, I did an interview with a local business owner that I was really excited to share with you guys. And due to lots of technical difficulties in my equipment, which was everything from the way the video shot to the video shutting down midway through, I have still managed to put this whole thing together. And that interview was with Heather Bennett with um, Paisley Grace Makery. And this is one of my favorite places um, in town. I love it because it is interactive and you can do it with friends and family. You always come out having a great time with something really great um, artistically that you've created and you've learned something in the process. So I really love what she brings to our community and she's just such a nice person. Her energy is so great. So I hope you enjoy the um, the interview that I did with her. Um, you're going to find some information about Paisley Grace Makery, some of the things that they have going on, and how you can get involved and um, be a part of the Makery. So I hope you enjoy. All right, here we go. Um, hey everybody, it's Carrie Ann, your favorite local go-to realtor, and today I'm really, really excited to be at Paisley Grace Makery. I love this place. I've been here for a couple classes, and it's just so much fun. And Heather Bennett is with us today, and she's going to tell us all about her business. So we're going to get right into it. Heather, thank you for doing this. Absolutely. I'm really excited to do it. So tell me a little bit about Paisley Grace. The business of Paisley Grace, mm -hmm. um, we've been in business for over just coming up on nine years now, which wow. seems crazy. Yeah. Uh, we used to be over off Nassauville and yeah. then made the leap to the island yeah. about four years in. Yeah. Um, and we have this great big space, which yes. has been it is beautiful, amazing. Mm -hmm. I thought we would never fill it, and now we sure use enough. every corner. <laughs> um, so sure it's enough. absolutely great. But we primarily uh, specialize in DIY workshops. We love to find those people that don't think they can do something yeah. or are afraid of the Pinterest fail, yeah. and then show them that it's really actually quite easy. Yeah. Um, and then we have all handmade gifts, local gifts around that we can do for people too. So right. it's definitely grown and involved. Yes. And then we ship DIY kits, we do subscription boxes, a little everything. bit of everything. <laughs> everything, everything you can imagine. So it, there's always great gifts. I always find some great gifts in here, which um, again, you don't always think about these kind mm -hmm. of gifts, but these are kind of gifts that people use over and over and over, yeah. year after year after year. I know I use mine. I love it. I love it. <laughs> I know I use mine. Okay, so we talked a little bit about the workshops. What kind of workshops do you do mostly? Mostly, our main workshop is our pick your project because we don't like to lock people into everybody has to do the same thing. Right. Um, so we have over a thousand designs in our gallery. People can do everything from an eight by eight mini sign up to a big porch sign. Um, and now we even have the paint pouring in there too, which right. is really so great. Right. Um, we also do epoxy workshops, which are my favorite. Okay. Because so that's get, newer, isn't it? It is newer, okay, yeah. yeah. They get to do either like pour an ocean scene on a charcuterie board, or they can do the background to a map. So currently we have Amelia Island, Camden, and Jacksonville, Fun. and we're going to keep expanding that. Yeah. So uh, we're not hating on any other cities. <laughs> we're just growing as we can. Um, and then we go all the way down to toddler time. So on Wednesdays we do oh, toddler time and... They paint laser projects or stenciled projects, a little right. bit of everything, but we do a story time and then um, hang out with the toddlers. And, and what so is fun. the age group for the toddlers? We what really do don't mean? limit it. I believe parents okay. know what their kids can handle. Yeah. Um, I've had as young as 13 months, and then I've had as old as 10. Wow. So it's really, as long as you think their kid's gonna enjoy it, like yeah. we love to have them. Okay, fun. So now I've got an idea to bring my granddaughter. Absolutely, <laughs> yeah. That would be fun. I don't know what she would do. She might be a holy terror, but who knows? Sometimes they go rogue, but you know, there's always something for them to look at. Yeah. And um, from my experience teaching, you know, we keep it very animated and excited. And right. so it's hard for them to lose ten attention. That sounds fun. That sounds fun. Okay, so I know too, in looking just a little bit of research this morning, you're also doing some business coaching now. So what is that exactly is that and how is it going? Um, it is going really, really well. So I was approached several times about four years into the business to franchise it. Mm -hmm. And it's just not in my heart to franchise. I really believe that franchises get you tied up in so many big fees and yeah it doesn't allow the individual to pivot as fast as they need to for right. their demographics. Right. So 
I still wanted to be able to help other, I have primarily women, so yeah. <laughs> I think I have one guy in my group, but, um, but I wanted to help other women be able to chase their dreams without being intimidated by all the stuff that you have to learn, like a fire hose really right. fast. Right. Um, so it started with just like a business boot camp, mm -hmm. and then that grew into a monthly membership, and then that grew into an annual meetup. Um, so I have about 65 women all over the wow. country that I that coach so cool. and we meet on Zoom every Monday yeah. and then once a year they come right here to Amelia Island and we do hands-on training and workshops and everything there too. Now, is that all about arts and crafts or is it any kind of business that you're coaching them just to be more courageous to get out there? Yeah, I think the training is really wide open. It would definitely be probably more applicable if it's a handmade business. Mm -hmm. um, because there's going to be some trainings that might not apply right. if you're in an alternate business, but you know, we're, everything from training on Shopify to tech to the ins and outs of marketing. So yeah. you can definitely take something no matter right. what you're doing. Yeah, and that marketing is tricky. It's a lot. <laughs> it is a lot. It is a lot. Okay, so I know I can look around and mm -hmm. see all this cool stuff that you have. So a lot of people don't know that you can come in and actually purchase yes. pre-made, completely finished. You don't have to do anything. Just come pick it up. So what kind of things do you have? I know you've got some Christmas and fall things out here. What are the kind of things that you keep year round? Uh, we really keep almost everything year round. We always have ornaments, although obviously this time of year it's expanded massively. Right. Um, we always have the hand poured charcuterie <laughs> boards and engraving a lot of Amelia Island local gifts right. and the maps have been a huge seller. Okay. Um, but all of our signs too. Okay, so obviously this is where the video got cut off. And even though um, Heather had already shared a lot of information, some of the things that you missed in this um, due to my technical difficulties is one of the cool things I always like to ask is where do the business owners get their names? They're always so unique and different. And I was really surprised to hear, and maybe some of you guys knew this already, but Paisley Grace is the name of her daughter, and the website is named after her son. So I thought that was really cool how she incorporated such a unique name and created something um, with this business. So I, I really loved that as well. Um, another thing that we talked about that um, also you didn't get to see in the interview is um, some of her collaborations. So Heather is really big on collaborating with other small businesses, coming in to teach, to learn. Um, she's a really big supporter of women-owned businesses. Not that we're throwing shade on the guys out there, but she's she really gets involved with the other local women-owned businesses. So that's something that... Um, Really, it's something I have found in a lot of the small businesses that I've been interviewing is that um, they are so community focused and Heather is definitely um, community focused in what she's trying to give back to the community. So that was really important. I hate that you didn't get to hear that part of the interview. Um, a couple other things just to note is the workshops and things that she has going on there. Um, it's not always thought about, but I really love giving gifts of experiences. So this is a great place to do some kind of a gift certificate of a shared experience that you can do with your best friend or your mom or your sister, even your spouse, that you can come in and take one of these classes because they're not just, like, for instance, I took a charcuterie board um, class in there, which was so much fun. I learned so much and I've been able to apply those techniques over and over and over. So I really appreciate it. I mean, I got really, um, I got a lot out of that class. So if you haven't thought of it, if you're looking for something unique to give a family member, a friend or whomever um, this holiday season, or even for a birthday or special event coming up, definitely consider um, Paisley Grace Makery because this would be a really fun gift and experience to share with somebody. So there were some other parts to it, um, and I am not going to be able to um, to say everything the way Heather would. So hopefully she'll allow me to come back, and we'll try to hit this again, so she can talk a little bit more about what she's got, um, what she's what she's having going on there, and um, and you're just going to find that she's just such an amazing person. So. I hope you enjoyed what you did get to see. I hope this part of the, the video, you have learned something or gleaned a little more information about her business. 
Um, in the next couple um, slides over, you're gonna find information on how to reach Heather, how to get in touch with her, how to um, schedule something in within her makery. So I hope everybody enjoyed it. And as always, I hope to see you around town. Bye.